Hello. <clears throat> I am a bit under the weather, so I apologize if the quality of this is not that great. But, as you can see, the MS-2 is gone. I have the 278 or 276B here. And I put the FOS back up, and I'll show that in a bit. Now... Where the 276B was, I have something. And by the title of this, you might be able to guess. I have a simplex T-bar. It is a T-bar. Um, and it's okay, but I want to explain a few troubles I've had with it and see if this is something that other people are getting. First things first, I did make an unboxing video of this, but I'm probably not going to upload it because it wasn't the best quality. And um, it did come with brake rods, which is something I didn't expect, which is a, not a bad thing per se. Um, now, it doesn't, if you don't have one, it doesn't really look the way it feels. It's made of plastic, not like a cheap plastic, but it's not metal. <laughs> if when you first get it, or, well, I shouldn't say that. When I first got it, the key did not fit into the lock. It does now, though, but this is on this crappy back box that I made. And, um, the handle doesn't go all the way up. Like, I don't know what that's about. And there's a problem with the lock where it's like, if you listen closely... It grinds and it's really hard to open. You can see that flashing. I don't know why. It's all right here, but there's something up with like the way it locks. And there's the model sticker. If I could show up. There we go. 42-51-21, no, not a 42-51-20, um, it is falling off, I have to get a back box for it, and sometimes it doesn't completely lock, to that time though, I literally have a paper clip holding it in, ooh, light, it is pretty cool, I am, I'm happy to finally have one after a long time. Uh, if, I think the next pull station I'm going to go for is probably either a BG-8, a BG-10, or an RSG T-bar. Just because. Stupid the focus on this thing is messed up. I am testing out my phone camera, by the way. See, that's going... I don't actually have the FOS. I don't actually have it wired. It is lower because it's duct taped and it's not completely hooked in. But it's there. You can see that flashing. There's a cat eating. He's literally eating insulation off the floor. What is wrong with you, laser eyes? <laughs> you don't do that. The other one does. Because he's retarded or something. See, that's what I'm talking about. It doesn't... It, it doesn't lock all the way. Sometimes. And it's not because of the back box. I... Like, if I were to try to bend it more, it would, it would bend the key. Ugh. I don't know. If somebody else with a simplex 4250120 or 21 could please explain to me if that's a, something that you guys have problems with too. Because I don't know if the 2099s or the 4099s do it. But, whatever. I think my next purchase to do with fire alarms is going to be to get a back box for this. 
Because this, this back box is not a fire alarm back box. It is a... Well, it's that. I have no idea what it's supposed to be for. It looks like... A humidistat, I guess. I would have thought like a thermostat, but... Whatever. Anyway... And I'll also do the 276B. The funny thing is that this, this actually um, <clears throat> holds here better than the MS2 did. It's not as wobbly. Still is like it goes this way, but it doesn't go the other way too, because the uh, the back won't let it. All right, well, with that, I'm going to go now. Goodbye.